you ever had hibachi, you know how addicting it is to have. The best thing you can do is learn how to make it yourself in the privacy of your own home so you can have it anytime you want. Let me show you how freaking easy it is to make hibachi at home. Let's go. What's up, YouTube family? I am back today with another biggity, biggity banger. Let me stop playing. Okay, y'all, on the menu tonight is going to be, um, dang, I lost my train of thought, um, hibachi. Hibachi my way. So what I'm going to start with, y'all, is the fried rice. I'm keeping the fried rice so simple, like real simple. Rice, egg, light seasoning, we out of here. So let's get the um, fried rice out of the way real quick. And real simple. Give me a spoon. So what I'm going to start with, you guys, is butter. And I'm going to put my, my wok right here is screaming hot. I may have to turn it down. Let's see. So, starting with some butter. Okay, that's all right. Now, in with the butter. Now, this is going to go so fast. Um, in with the butter, y'all. Next is... I don't know. Let me see am I in the camera. Okay, y'all. Is my egg. And this is like four eggs. I just uh, whipped up. About to scramble them real quick. Turn them right in there. Booyah, booyah. Scramble, damble. Scramble, scramble. Hope everybody out there is doing spectacular. Thank you so much for watching my video. I really appreciate it. If you have not already, please hit that subscribe button, comment, like, and share. And make sure you have on your post notification bell, guys, so you can know each and every time I upload a video. Okay, so. So get these nice and scrambled up here. Let me get my other utensil, y'all, so I don't scrape y'all ear off. Uh, here we go. I don't know if I'll be able to... I know I'll be scraping y'all ear off. Oh, I'm sorry. But yes, the rice is going to go really quick. Um, This looks about... Yeah, this looks about right. Let it go for a couple more seconds. Let that go. Because see, that egg be fried hard. It be like fried nice and hard in that uh, rice. Get that nice and done there. And I went ahead and pre-made my rice, you guys. I am using yellow rice because that's what I want to use tonight. You can use white rice if you want to. I had the taste for the yellow rice um, with this meal. So I cooked my rice and it's been in the refrigerator cooling for about five or six hours. Okay, so now my egg is getting like a little browning on it. So now I'm going to go ahead and throw in some of this rice. Probably not going to use all this rice. Throw in some of this rice. That. Boom. Real simple. Easy, quick, quick fried rice. Let's see, a little bit more. All right, that should be good. Okay. And what I'm gonna do is season this rice with a little bit of soy sauce. A little goes a long way with soy sauce. Y'all know that though. Soy sauce right there. 
I'm also going to hit it with a dash of sesame oil. Sesame oil, just a splash. And I'm also going to hit it with a little bit of oyster sauce. Oyster sauce. Just like that. Okay, let's give this a nice toss. And this is about it, guys. Like I said, I wanted to keep this rice real, this fried rice real simple. I mean, if you want to add carrots, if you want to add peas at this step, you definitely could. But I have some, um, you'll see. I got the onions, the mushrooms, the steak, the chicken. I'm going to make like a little Asian gravy. I like that little Asian flavored gravy to go over everything. So, you know, I just wanted a nice little bed of rice. Real simple. Toss that up like that. And this is just about it, guys. This is it. I'll probably let this fry off for maybe like another five minutes just to marry all the flavors together, but this is about it. So, I'm gonna cut the camera, and I will be back to show y'all my ingredients for my papache. Let's get it, baby. Be back. Okay, my YouTube fam, here is all of the ingredients for my little hibachi stir fry. I have some um, New York strip steak. I have some boneless, skinless chicken thighs. I'm also gonna be having some shrimp in mine. I'm gonna do white onion, mushroom, zucchini, and here is some oak jamones. Got some poison sauce, some stir fry oil, stir fry sauce, of course butter, and I'm keeping the uh, seasonings really, really simple. Just garlic, salt, and coarse black pepper because this stuff is packing with flavor here so and I'm also gonna of course probably be using a little bit okay my YouTube fam I am back let's get it popping with this hibachi so of course we are this is hot you need a hot pan because I kind of want to cook this meat like on high heat because I kind of want a nice sear on it um so I'm just gonna go with the flow let me go see so let's start with some butter of course, a whole half a stick, sis. Stop playing. So I'm going to cook my chicken first because, hope you guys can see, yep. So I'm gonna cook my chicken first because that's like the longest to cook. You know, my steak and shrimp is not gonna take long at all. So let's get my chicken in there. Get that chicken mixed up in that butter. Mm -hmm. What you know about me? Okay, get that butter. Nice and incorporated. And this is boneless, skinless chicken thighs, y'all. You can use chicken breast. You can use whatever part of the chicken you want. And um, like I said, I'm keeping the seasoning real light. Got some garlic salt here. Sprinkle that with a little bit of, I hate when this come out. This come out so slow. That's why I be using the big side, but I ain't tripping. I ain't tripping this, I ain't tripping. Okay, so we hit that with a little bit of garlic salt. Let's hit it with some ground black pepper. Hit that with a little bit of pepper. And basically, this is what I'm gonna do for uh, all my, uh, my protein. I'm going to cook them separately in butter on a high heat until they are nice and well done. I don't think I'm going to bore you guys with that process. Um, because you've seen me cook steak before, you've seen me saute shrimp before. So basically all this is just really cut and dry. When all of my meat is done, I will be back to show you guys how beautifully seared it is. 
So I will be back, y'all. Stay tuned, gang. Okay, my YouTube fam, I just wanted to show you guys how the chicken came out. So basically, all of my meat, um, which is the steak and the shrimp next, I'm going to cook everything the same way. So you see how that's nice and seared? Nice and seared. And again, I seasoned this with, look at this piece. Oh, man, look at that sear on this chicken. Woo, let me see if I can show you. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so basically, y'all, again, I use black pepper, garlic salt, and I also use some of this stir-fry oil, a little bit of soy sauce, and I use poison sauce. So basically, I am going to cook Again, I know I keep repeating myself, but I'm going to cook the steak and the shrimp the same way. We're going to saute it until we got a nice golden crust, and uh, it's all good. And we're going to saute everything in butter. We're going to saute everything in butter. This meat is crazy flavorful right now. Insanely flavorful. So, let me hop on to the next meat, and I'll be back. Steak is looking good, y'all. Steak is looking good. Steak is looking real good. Okay, y'all. This is what the shrimp looking like. Time to take these bad boys out. Looking wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. And look at all these, look at all this flavor left in this pan. Let me turn this off. Okay, y'all, see all that flavor, all that butter, that seasoned butter left in his pan? You think we throwing that out? Oh, no, honey, no, we ain't. I'll be back. Okay, YouTube fam, I am back, and let's start working on these vegetables. Y'all, when I tell y'all I'm so excited about eating this, I'm, I'm too excited. This was so fun to make, too. This was so, in so many different ways you could freak it. But I'm going to try to keep it real traditional. Y'all know I want to freak it. But uh, the traditional way is going to be delicious. Okay, so of course, the whole recipe, we using butter. What you talking about? We using butter. So I got my trusty cast iron wok back out. And... What we are going to do is toss in our beautiful vegetables that we have already sliced and diced. We got that white onion, we got those mushrooms, and we got that beautiful zucchini. Let's toss them all in. Toss, toss, toss them in. Just like that. All right. So this is gonna take a minute to wilt down and saute um, to my liking. So of course I'm not gonna bore you guys and make you watch my uh, my veggie stir fry or whatever. But I am gonna show you what I am gonna season them with. If you notice, if you've been watching the whole video, we seasoned everything all the way through. We seasoned each individual meat. We seasoned that rice. And now we are going to season our vegetables because you need flavor on your food. Do not be afraid to season. But I'm keeping it light because we did season everything along the way. So keep it light, okay? Because it's easy to make your food over salty. So here we go again. Like I told you, I'm just using for this whole recipe garlic salt and black pepper. So let's go in with some garlic salt. Oh, yeah. Just that much, not too much. Just that much. We go on there with some black pepper. Okay. We go on in with a little bit of minced garlic. I'm gonna shake it right in from the jar because we ain't got time. Nobody got time. I'm ready to eat and nobody got time. Okay, we got some minced garlic. Let's go in with some soy sauce, of course, right? We're gonna go in with some soy. 
a little bit. We are going with. We keeping it poison, you know. We keep. We staying on the same wave. It's the same wave. Nothing major. And this. This is so easy. Don't be intimidated. Make it. Buy you some. Chop you up some chicken. Buy you some shrimp. Get you some steak, sesame oil, or or if you just want chicken, just use chicken. Or you know whatever. You ain't gotta use three meats. You ain't gotta OD like me. I OD. You know I OD. I'm, I'm a little bit greedy sometimes. Stir fry oil. It's so easy. Get you some zucchini. Man, this was so. You know what it was? It was. It's time consuming. This is just time consuming. Stir fry sauce. Okay. A little bit of that right there. Just like that. And remember our pan that we cook all of our meats in? All, the pan that we cook and saute all of our meats in is right here, right? It's so much delicious flavor and butter at the on this pan is going right in thought it wasn't when it was watch this look flavor 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 and more flavor what you talking about what you talking about don't go away them pan drippings man that's some mad flavor right there so now take this and just give it a nice toss you just want your veggies to be nice and soft. I want that char on them. Not going to take long for this. Not going to take long for this to wilt down at all. Not at all. So I gave that a nice stir. And now, since all those flavors is nice and incorporated in my veggies, I'm going to let it cook down, like I said, and get a nice char on it. And then after that, everything is done. It's time to get it popping. You can make you a little yum yum sauce. I don't think that I'm going to do a yum yum sauce for this. Because, um, you know, I mean, you could miss me tonight with the yum yum sauce. I mean, it's good or whatever, but I ain't got time. But um, I think I am going to make like a little gravy, like a thin gravy, like I said earlier. Um, I'm going to probably make a gravy, but it's going to have probably like soy sauce. It's going to be like a, it's, it's going to be like a, a thicker soy sauce, if you will, if that makes sense, if that makes sense. So I'm basically just going to make a gravy real quick, and then I'm probably going to add some soy sauce, a little bit more of this um this Asian seasoning over here I don't know I haven't figured it out yet and then I might just say bump it we ain't getting we ain't doing none of that we sprinkling some soy sauce on here and we about to get it in so look at all that um, water that juice that those vegetables make see that that's all go cook down and when all that juice is gone that's how you know it's time to take your veggies out so let's let this finish cooking down and I'll be back y'all all right, my beautiful YouTube family, this is the finished product. Like I said, very, very simple. Do it yourself at home if you would like. It's just a little time consuming, but super duper easy to make. So, of course, we have our fried rice in the middle. We have our stir fried vegetables, our zucchini, our mushroom, our onion. We of course have some soy sauce. We have our sauteed um, boneless skinless chicken thighs. We have some beautiful sauteed shrimp. We have a yum yum sauce that yes I went ahead and made that sauce. It is very simple. Just YouTube it. The main ingredients is mayo and ketchup. And it's like really simple y'all. Um, so that's the yum yum sauce. And this is our beautiful steak. So here you go. Hibachi at home. You can freak it any way you like. But this is the way we are having it tonight. 
Love you guys. Can't wait to see you in the next video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Everybody stay safe and stay blessed. Mwah.